Hello and welcome. My name is Bianca Koop and I will be your host for today. Welcome to today's webinar, part two of design considerations for high performance fleet telematics. This webinar will be recorded and available on demand for future reference. Please submit your questions using the panel on the right hand side of your screen throughout today's presentation. The agenda for today is as follows. We will have a speaker's introduction, a summary of the part one for design challenges of fleet telematics ecosystem, an overview of embedded planet, EP connected fleet telematics solutions, following with TE connectivity sensors. As we move forward, today's speakers will include Nathan Lee. Nathan Lee is the senior manager of the IoT sales and business development for TE Connectivity's data and devices business unit. Nathan leads the IoT sales and business development. As we move forward, Steve Weirs is the Regional Sales Director for Telet. He is responsible for driving sales of complex wireless components throughout the translation of customers' technical and business requirements into successful Internet of Things implementation. We also welcome Matt Hoover. Matt is the CEO at Embedded Planet, whose career has included different elements, including leadership, sales, marketing, and development roles. And lastly, we welcome John Tooley. John Tooley is currently responsible for global industrial and IoT business development for TE Connectivity Sensor Business Unit based in Texas. We hope you enjoyed today's presentation. And without further ado, I invite Nathan to continue today's presentation. Thank you, Bianca. Welcome everyone to the part two of the Fleet Telematics um, webinar. As just a quick overview of T Connectivity, T Connectivity is one of the largest interconnect companies in the world. At TE Connectivity, we create a safer, connector future in a number of key markets, including transportation, medical, networking, and the IoT market. The fleet telematics um, typically falls into the transportation and IoT market. As outlined in the first fleet telematics webinar, a basic fleet telematics system can be grouped into five key parts. The first part here, the data. The da data is used in the system. Um, this data can be located, in, can be the location of the vehicle, the speed of the vehicle, the health of the vehicle, and the data from the sensors located around the vehicle. Sensor data can include temperature, vibration, humidity, CO2 levels, and many more data points. Let's look at the second part of this. The in-vehicle device, normally, normally in the fleet telematics box, sometimes called the black box, um, is the brains behind the system. It typically collects the data, formats the data, and then sends the data out. Um, this data is normally sent in the third pillar there um, through the cellular network. This data is also controlled through the cellular network and um, transmitting the GPS data, et cetera, using the cellu cellular network. Once the data is sent to the cloud or the secure servers, the fleet telematics software analyzes the data, makes decision based on the given parameters on the end user, and then also allows any end user around the world to view the data. For example, where is the truck located now? What is the temperature of the refrigeration cooler in back in the trailer? What are the CO2 levels, um, which is important for a lot of fruit and vegetables, etc. So now let's take another look at a fleet telematic box. In this diagram, we look at the basic building blocks of an in-vehicle device or the black box for the fleet telematic system. The two main components components of this system are the main board and the radio board. Main board collects the data, formats the data from the sensor inputs. After the data is collected, the main board um, makes decisions on when it transmits this data to the cellular network via the radio module. For example, here, Telet does a lot of radio modules, either collecting the data from Bluetooth sensors um, or sending out the data via the cellular network using one of their devices um, that you'll we will review later. TE Connectivity offers a number of solution in this type of design. Um, TE offers a radio, the radio signal interconnects, including antennas, RF connectors, RF cables, 
and also spring fingers that are used often with um, the connection points between antennas. And in terms of power connections, um, TE connectivity offers power connectors, battery holders, and also spring fingers. Spring fingers can also be used in, um, to transmit power back and forth between devices. Other in connect items that TE can supply are USB C connectors, FPC connectors for displays, board to board connectors to reduce this to reduce the size of the design. And T also offers a variety of SD cards and SIM card holders also available from T. One device here that we have on the screen here is used by the Embedded Planets Fleet Telematic Solution that Matt will review later during this presentation. This is a two port GAR antenna from T Connectivity. This antenna is a perfect solution for an LTE CAT M1 solution and also has a GNSS port included. For more details about this antenna, please visit te.com. Now I would like to hand the presentation over to Steve Weirs from Tellit Wireless. Thank you, Nathan. This is Steve Weirs from Tellit and I'll give you an overview of Tellit's products and solutions. I'll talk about the cellular module that's in the telematic solution and the connectivity plan that goes with it. First off, as far as Tellit, we have three pillars of our business that we focus on. The first is modules. We make a wide variety of modules encompassing cellular, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GNSS receivers. The second pillar is connectivity. Connectivity is a vital component to a cellular connected solution and Telet offers a wide range of data plans and services that are complementary to a cellular connected solution. And then the third is software and platforms. Telet leverages our software platform for device management, for data management, for the management of the connectivity data plans. So we leverage that to better wrap the modules and connectivity together and, and bring it all as, as one uh, cohesive element. Next. So the module that's in the telematic solution, it's Telet's ME910C1. This is a CAT M1 slash narrowband combination module, and it's in Telet's 910 family. What that means is we make a broad variety of modules, uh, CAT4, CAT1, narrowband only, modules that fit in that put footprint, and also allow legacy uh, solutions based on 2G and 3G to be used in, in that same footprint. The module is a global module, so it has approvals, both regulatory or, and carrier approvals from around the world. It has a GNSS receiver in it that supports um, the GNSS constellations. And this receiver can be used concurrently with cellular. So you get the full performance out of the GNSS module. Far as approvals, we do have regulatory approvals from around the world and Telet works with our customers to get any additional approvals that are required. It is an industrial temp range module, so it's good over the entire uh, industrial temp range. The module supports Telet One Edge, and the module has at runtime, when it's manufactured, a certificate that's loaded into it to enable connection to Telet's One Edge device manager server. What this means is there's no provisioning required if you choose to use it this way. When you turn the module on, and you, it will register on the network, and if you selected this option, you can connect directly to the One Edge server without the need to load external certificates into the module or the application processor. Application development is provided by AppZone, so we have a 
application space with a dedicated processor on the module if you choose to use that for say a hostless implementation. Um, we do have cloud connectors built into the module for connecting to various end platforms. The interfaces primarily, you know, people would connect to a host system, either USB or UART, but we do provide other interfaces that can be leveraged via AppZone. And then finally, drivers, you know, we you can run this module bare metal with a MCU or use Windows, Linux, Android, whatever your choice. Next. For the connectivity, the data plan that's used with the module is Telet's next data plan. It's a global roaming data plan and it complements the carriers that we offer home network services with. What this means is under one contract, one billing structure, you have the total flexibility to pick the carriers you'd like to use, whether you want to run on a home network in North America or you want to run globally. So with one contract, you have complete flexibility for both North American and global deployments. We have the technologies that support multiple SIM cards as shown on the next slide. So we can provide commercial and industrial form factor SIM cards that plug into a socket. We have the MFF2 form factor, which is solderable. If you know you want to implement it in a in a very small package, we support uh, wafer level chip scale packaging. So we have a lot of flexibility on implementing the data plans in your designs. We also support two modes of operation, multi mz which would allow, you know, a tell it next global plan along with a, with a North American home network plan on the same SIM card. And we also support the eSIM technology, which allows for remote SIM provisioning from the Telet platform. Next. Now we'll turn it over to Matt Hoover. We'll continue on with the Embedded Planet fleet solution. Great, thank you, Steve. Embedded Planet has been helping customers connect their products since 1997. We help customers realize the benefits of IoT by wirelessly connecting sensors so they can turn real-world data into valuable information. We can help customers create the right IoT system and help them solve the software, electronic, mechanical, and system integration challenges to create a world-class IoT solution. We have several targeted IoT solutions, including EP Connected Vehicle, which we'll cover today. Using EP Connected Vehicle, upfitters and fleet managers can see the OBD2 information as well as items not included in OBD2, like battery system status, custom equipment, vehicle location, driver status, acceleration and braking. Users can have direct access to all the data coming from EP Connected Vehicle, and they can turn that data into valuable information. Embedded Planet can bundle the EP Connected Vehicle telematics solution so upfitters and customers can order one part number and receive the EP Connected Vehicle system, antennas, cables, cellular connectivity, and software all in one easy to use kit. Embedded Planet can also customize the system to meet customer requirements. For the system today, EP Connected Vehicle uses OBD2 connection for power and data. We can also integrate EP Connected Vehicle into a complete solution based on customer requirements. Our fleet management solution that we're showing today for the webinar is using EP Connected Vehicle TE connectivity antennas, like the two-port antenna that Nathan discussed, and the TE wireless sensor, MU5600. In addition, 
we are using the components that Steve discussed, including Telet's cellular module, Telet connectivity, and Telet's One Edge for device management. EP connected vehicle can send data directly to the customer's own database or server, and we can also send it send the data directly to AWS, Azure, or other cloud solution. User dashboards can also be created to show alarms, GPS location, configuration for SMS, text messages, vehicle status, and other information can be configured per customer requirements. Now we'll talk about a, cu a couple customer examples. In our first customer application, we supply the complete kit at the left inside the red border to a lawn treatment customer. This customer uses EP Connected Vehicle to manage and track their fleet of trucks, which are used for, to treat lawns. The kit contains EP Connected Vehicle, mounting hardware, OBD2 cable, plus two custom cables, the TE connectivity antenna, and TE's 5600 pressure sensor, Telet SIM, and Telet One Edge, and the customer's software application. Customer uses the TE 5600 wireless sensor to monitor pressure in the lawn treatment tank. Serial interfaces are also used to connect to the flow control system, which manages and monitors the flow of the lawn treatment application. The customer populates their database with data from EP Connected Vehicle so they can analyze their fleet performance and provide their end customers with details regarding each lawn treatment. Fleet maintenance personnel can also receive alerts via SMS text or email regarding truck status and the status of the equipment used during treatment. Our second application we supply the kit at the left in the red border to a garbage truck manufacturer. This customer uses EP Connected Vehicle as a foundation for their SaaS offering for their customers. The kit contains EP Connected Vehicle, mounting hardware, TE antenna, TE 5600 pressure sensor, Telet SIM in one edge, and the customer software application. The customer uses the TE5600 wireless sensor to monitor the hydraulic system on the truck. The customer uses data to populate their SaaS database for fleet analysis and provide their end customers with detailed service information. Fleet maintenance personnel can also receive alerts regarding truck location, truck status, and hydraulic system status. Now we'll take a look inside the EP Connected Vehicle System. We use our Agora modem, which includes processing, sensors, Bluetooth connectivity, and the Telet ME910 cellular module. The EP Connected Vehicle system is designed to tolerate truck environments and, and allows 12 volt and 24 volt power options, fault protected IO, which includes four inputs and outputs, and the inputs can be used for status of ignition, transmission, and temperature switches. Outputs allow you to see engine status and turn the engine on and off, turn fans and lights on and off. Two serial ports are also available for connecting to other devices like battery management systems, hydraulic controls, just general control systems and other custom devices. Battery backup is also included and antenna options allow for flexible installation. Finally, internal and external enclosures are also available. One of the key features of the system is Bluetooth connectivity for reading wireless sensors like the TE5600 pressure sensor, or you can use Bluetooth for system configuration. Inside the EP Connected Vehicle module is our Agora modem sensor platform. Agora is a certified modem for AT&T and Verizon and it uses the Telet ME910 cellular module. Sensors include both a six and nine axis IMU, air quality, temperature, humidity, microphone, and tamper detect. There is also an interface on the module called the Tectonic Edge, which allows you direct access into the processor, the sensors, and the Telet ME910 module. 
a number of options are available for configuration related to the SIM, antennas, sensors, and population options. EP connected vehicle can be bundled with teleconnectivity for global access to over 600 networks, which Steve covered earlier. Telet and EP connected vehicle also support multiple SIM technologies, which makes it very easy for customers to implement their system. Telet's One Edge provides a significant number of functions to manage the seller devices. An embedded planet can bundle both Telet One Edge and SIMs into a complete solution. Now we'll take a look at Telet's One Edge. One Edge provides several ways to view your devices in your fleet, including geographic, logical, and ICC ID or SIM. In One Edge, you have access to device management, device organization, data delivery, SIM management, events, data usage, security, and other functions. Now we'll take a look at the connections display. The connections display allows you to see an overview of your devices and allows you to navigate to individual SIMs and you can see overall fleet data, devices by location, and individual devices sorted by data usage. Now we'll take a look at the individual SIM that we're using for today's webinar. The SIM ending in 2521 is the one we're using for today. The display at the left shows detailed information related to that individual SIM. You can also see the IMEI number for the TELET module. The display on the right shows data usage for this specific SIM. There is also an actions menu that's available for you to perform direct actions on the modem inside Embedded Planet's EP connected vehicle. You can also execute AT commands directly to the TELET ME910 module running on Agora. Also inside One Edge, you have an access to a number of different data methods to move data from EP connected vehicle into the cloud. You'll see those listed under endpoints. On the right, you see the actual JSON packet of data information coming from EP connected vehicle and being pushed into the cloud into One Edge and then into our dashboard, which we'll show next. The dashboard that we're using for today's demo shows map location, VIN, gauges for speed, engine load, fuel level, and coolant temperature, plus a parameter listing at the bottom left, which shows latitude and longitude, and the numerical values for the numbers in the gauges. Note the Bluetooth wireless sensor data from the TE5600 sensor on the right of the dashboard. EP connected vehicle can be used as a Bluetooth sensor gateway to move wireless sensor data from the truck to the customer's database. Fleet managers or support personnel can receive text messages or alerts related to events they want to monitor in the vehicle. In closing, Embedded Planet can provide customers with a complete production solution, which includes EP connected vehicle, OBD2 cables, antennas, cellular connectivity, wireless sensors, software, and testing. We can also customize all of the components that you've seen today, including features on the EP connected vehicle, enclosures, cabling, and wireless interfaces for Bluetooth, cellular, near field, and GPS. We can also do wired interfaces for RS-232 Modbus and analog or digital IO. We can perform wireless certification, and all of the software that we've shown today can be customized for the customer's application. Once this system is finalized, Embedded Planet can provide the complete kit as a production solution. During production, we can provide test logs for each serialized system, which includes system test, cellular connectivity, certificates for cloud connectivity, and custom software installation. Embedded Planet can combine the products and software you've seen today into a complete solution so you can focus on helping customers manage their fleets or manage your own fleet. Thank you, and John, on to you. Thank you, Matt. Go ahead and next slide. So, so what Matt, Steve, and also Nathan mentioned is a lot about sensors and getting that data up into the cloud so the data can be useful. And I just wanna make a point here 
that sensors are really the foundation of IoT systems, and it can be sensors that are, you know, discrete individual sensors that are added on later, or they could be embedded into the whole system. But sensors are really a, a key portion of IoT systems. If you look at TE sensor organization, uh, we're about a $600 million organization focused on industrial, medical, and automotive space. Uh, and in that, one thing that's really important is that most of our business, over 80%, is in what we call harsh environments. So we, we are experts in really building sensors that will last in the environment that they're supposed to last in for a long time. And that is really quite critical. Like if you're in a, if you're on a truck or a, on some of the applications, I think you mentioned you had the uh, the water hose uh, for for doing chemicals on lawns. Um, I'm sure they're running into mud, rain, sleet, snow, all that kind of fun stuff. So you got to have stuff that's going to last in there year after year after year. And that's what TE is really good at is developing sensors for harsh environments. So go to the next slide, please. And if you look at TE sensors, I mean, we have what we call an unmatched portfolio of sensors. So we have everything from humidity, we have pressure, we have temperature, vibration, position, force, and photonics. And in these technology areas, we are a end-to-end -end provider of it. So we have our own MEMS uh, fabs, we make our own piezo film, we basically do the second level packaging and integration. Uh, and so during all the many years we've been doing this at, at TE Sensors, you know, we are really good at working very closely with customers, uh, you know, to solve their problems. Uh, and, you know, that's across pretty much any of these sensor technologies. The next slide, please. And here's just an example. So you mentioned, Matt mentioned this a couple of times, our 5600 family of, of sensors. This is a BLE for a sensor, uh, it has what we're called, it, it has an advertising mode as well as a pairing mode. So you can go either way, depending on what kind of power you're looking at or, or you need lifetime in the battery. Um, 24 bits in pressure resolution. It goes from 30 PSI up to 10,000 PSI. And actually we can go a little higher if you want to, but you know, it's specced at, at 30 to 10 K PSI. Uh, it uses a CR2050 uh, coin cell battery. It's in an IP67 rated, so it is it has been rated at IP67, and it actually has hazardous location ratings for class one, div one, uh, and then also ATEX zone zero. So, you know, this is a really great product to go out there and put into an environments. And what we're seeing is, is, why are people using this? It's really the whole idea of wires. You don't have to put wires in there. Even if you think on a piece of equipment or, or any type of mobile equipment, you'd say, oh, there's plenty of room. You can run wires around. But when you start working around the equipment, the wires get corroded, they get broken, uh, they get <laughs> every, any, it's amazing what happens uh, to stuff like that when, you, when they get out there. So having no wires makes a huge difference there. And it also is a lower cost. I mean, instead of having to have somebody climb all over the machine and run stuff, you can actually just screw them in and, and you basically go. And, and the applications we see, you know, just like uh, Matt showed, is really around monitoring either hydraulics, pneumatic uh, systems and pressures, tank levels, things like that for these type of sensors. So go on to the next slide, please. And this is a cool pro product that is actually can bus out. Uh, so it has OPS3 out outputs on it. And it's really for oil quality. We call it a fluid property, but it's really around the, the quality of the fluid. So it has dynamic viscosity, density, resistance, dielectric constant, and temperature. All of those outputs are available in this one sensor. So that data goes up into your analytics and you can actually start you know, compiling data around when that oil is getting uh, you know, starting to fail. It's really great for places where you have, uh, you know, you're out in real dusty environments or dirty environments because, you know, it, you don't have to rely on, okay, you change the oil every X number of hours because um, sometimes you can get some dust or something inside the oil and it'll start ca causing your machine to, to degrade. So what this does is it'll do real time. It'll let you either extend the life of the oil if it's still good uh, over than what's just the standard time-based or if you start getting some particles or things in your oil, it'll start detecting that so you can change it before it actually damages your system beforehand. So this is a pretty cool product that we have, uh, you know, specifically for uh, the ICT market. Go on, next slide, please. And that's it. And I'll hand it over to Bianca. 
Thank you, John, and thank you everyone for attending.